guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a shot my stash, get ready with me, that I did. Um, this is the look that I came up with. I'm going to show clips of me picking out all the products and then you're going to see me applying them. So I hope you guys enjoy. Alright you guys, so this is where I keep all my makeup in the bathroom. I'll go ahead and start picking things out. Alright, so these are my foundations. Um, I actually depotted a lot of my foundations into these little, um, I forget what they're called. They're like, I think it's called an airless pump. I got these on Amazon and this has saved so much room in my containers. So when I keep the, the bottles, I keep them in my linen closet where I have a lot more room. And then whenever these get empty, you just fill them up. I haven't had to do that yet. But let's see what I'm gonna do. Um, I wore that one recently. I don't think I've ever showed you guys on camera um, this Koki. Koki foundation, this is in the lightest shade. I believe it's called C10. Really good foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that today. Okay, my powders. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my Fit Me today. I love this stuff, Fit Me. This is in translucent. You can see I've got a big dent in this. And then for my under eyes, I've been using number seven a lot. I think I wanna use, this is my overflow drawer down here. This is where I just keep things that don't quite fit into their respective drawers. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use Laura Geller. This is actually a foundation, Baked Balance and Brighten, but it's too, um, it's too illuminating for my skin, so I was I was never really using it, but I've been using it occasionally for my under eyes. So I think I'm gonna do that to use that for my under eyes. Okay, and then for bronzers, let's see. I've got my, I think I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals. I haven't used that in a while. Love this stuff. Um, invisible bronze and fair to light. Okay, for blush. Um, let's see, I haven't used this in a while. Um, but actually, you know what? I haven't used this in a while either. I'm going to go ahead and use my Essence. Which one do I want to use? This one is in Satin Coral, and this one is in Satin Love. I think I'm going to use Satin Love. Highlighters. Okay, my hourglass, I've been using that. This actually isn't Kat Von D. This is um, a Lorac single that I had de I had depotted. It was in a palette. I had depotted. I had it in my singles palette. I was never really using it. And then I was going to um, declutter the Kat Von D. It was Thunderstruck. It was actually an eyeshadow. Um, but I decided to depot it instead so I could put this in here. I think today I'm going to use... One of these is Moonstone, that's Champagne, um, Champagne Pop, this is Moonstone. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Moonstone today for my highlighter. Um, lipstick. Probably gonna end up just doing something neutral on the eye, so I'll just wear something neutral, like Rev Revolution, in the shade looking ahead, I like that color. Um, let's see up here, I just need to grab my chapstick. I always put some kind of like um, chapstick on before I do my lipstick. Um, let's see. I haven't really been doing primer at all recently, so I'm going to skip primer. Okay, my color corrector. I've been using either my Becca or my Charlotte Tilbury. I think I'll use the Becca today. This one doesn't necessarily cover, like full-on opaque cover, but it just brightens the under eyes, so it kind of reflects any darkness. And then my setting sprays. Um, this one is Scandinavia. This one is Makeup Revolution. I think I'm gonna use that one today. This one is the Catrice. Yeah, this one is the Catrice one. And then that's my MAC. And then I also have the Morph. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, Makeup Revolution because this is mattifying. So use that one. And concealer, let's see. I haven't used this one in a while, and I don't think I've shown it to you guys on camera. This is the Bright Illuminating Concealer. This is Koki in the shade Fair. Okay, for eyes, let's see. I'm use my eye primer. It's the only one that I really have left. And glitter primer. I don't know if I'm going to need that, but I'll grab that. This is the only um, full mascara that I have over. And I don't have these little two skinny ones for my bottom lashes, but I haven't been doing bottom lash mascara in forever. Um, I don't feel like doing anything with my eyebrows today. 
an eyeliner. Let's see. I have the black one. These need to be sharpened. Let me, let me grab the two um, LA Girl. One's black, one's brown. I don't know which color I'm going to use, so I'll just grab them black. Okay, and this is where I keep my palettes. Most of my, well, I have palettes up here. I used these already in a video. Um, those are more Viseart singles. I used Viseart last time, so I think I'm going to pick something in here. So I've got my Tartlet, I've got my Gingerbread. I'm not really feeling ultra warm right now. These are my singles, I used those in a video. These are my specialties, specialty shadows. These are my neutral singles. These are all my um, Color Rain I depotted. This is my Violet Boss palette. It's a mixture of like a boss and the Holy Grail. Haven't used that in a while. And I also have the Naturally. Natural Lust, which I don't think I've ever used that on camera. Um, and then I have my Anastasia. kind of think I feel like using Sultra. I haven't used this one in quite a while. Yeah, I'll go ahead and use my Sultra. And then I think I'm going to pull this in. This is the Revolution. It's like a dupe for the um, Hourglass setting powder so I think we can go ahead and use that. Hi guys, that's everything. We'll see you in a minute.
guys, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think down below. Um, leave any comments. Um, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.